What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about steel cased ammo and why I do not care about shooting it through my AR-15. So this might be a little controversial, but let's get right into it. So, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be talking about why I shoot steel cased ammo and just my basic, I guess, opinion on it. Um, I know a ton of people will have their concerns with steel cased ammo. A lot of people will hate on the video. I can already see the comment section starting up down below like, oh, you're stupid. You shoot steel cased ammo in your AR 15s. And, okay, take it back a little bit. I'm really only talking about AR-15s here. I'm not too knowledgeable on steel cased ammo in terms of like how it shoots through pistols or anything. Um, I haven't done that much research on it in that aspect, but I feel like I'm somewhat pretty knowledgeable about it with the uh, with the AR-15 platform. Um, I know some of the problems you can have with it, and some of the problems that I think aren't really I don't want to say important, but some things you guys just look past when you do use it. And some of the reasons I look past it. So, that being said, let's let's get right into it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the reasons why people don't use steel cased ammo. Um, and one of the biggest reasons, or I guess I feel is the biggest reason to avoid steel cased ammo, is um, it wears your rifle more. So, I hear people say it all the time in YouTube videos, in blogs, and just pretty much any gun literature ever out there, I feel like all the time people are hating on steel case ammo because it wears your barrel down and I've even gotten comments in some of my other videos where people are like why do you shoot that stuff and my my usual answer to them is by the time that you shoot your barrel out by using steel cased ammo because it wears the barrel more um, you can afford to buy a, a brand new barrel with the money you've saved from just shooting steel case instead of buying brass ammo. So, not at this time, but I I, I usually buy this wolf stuff, um, 55 grain, FMJ, stuff I usually just plink with. Um, I usually buy it for like $4 a box, and that is nothing. Okay, um, the cheapest I can ever find brass ammo is like $6 a box. So right there's $2, okay? By the time I've shot like 10 boxes, it's saving me 20 bucks. And you can shoot a ton of steel case ammo before it wears out a barrel. Alright, I'm just being honest. Like, I've probably shot well over thousands of rounds of this steel case stuff. And all my guns are still shooting just fine. Um, they're just fine with the stuff that shoots good. Um, wolf ammo usually is not, or steel case ammo is usually not very accurate. I mean, sometimes you'll find, like, a gun that handles it really well. I know the PSA that I have, the uh, 308 handles steel cased ammo really, really well. It shoots too low, like nobody's business. Um, when we go plink with it, we don't buy nice ammo for long range shooting for that. We buy the cheap stuff because of how well the PSA handles it. Um, so I don't really have any concern, but that's my biggest response to that is. Um, you can save more money and just replace the barrel and keep buying cheap ammo instead of buying brass ammo that shoots probably pretty pretty good and uh, it just works out financially in the long run um, for sure. I mean you might have to buy a barrel but you've saved so much money from shooting the cheap wolf. Another thing people say is well it's inaccurate like it doesn't shoot good and you're that, that argument is there. I totally get that. Um, I think with my PSA 16 1 to 7, this 55 grain will do like oh, bad groups. Um, I think it's a 4 MI group. Um, and that's like a 4 inch at 100 yards. And that's pretty, I mean, pretty big. But, um, and then if I step up and buy like some Hornady Black 55 grain, it'll like punch holes within each other at. 100 yards with that 55 grain stuff and they're like why would you ever want to shoot a bullet that groups so badly and honestly I don't think it really matters I, I think it's 
for for what I do, I plink a lot. I practice shooting. Um, in a four MOA group is just fine. I do a lot of you know the swinging around and quick target acquisition stuff um, on in my own time. I don't really video that a lot. Um, I shoot a lot in terms of just having fun. Uh, me and Hunter will go out to the range all the time and just play. And uh, I don't feel like I need to be that accurate. Now, in my long range stuff or when I stretch it out to like 300, 400 yards, I'm usually shooting nicer ammo. Um, so it does, it does make a difference. Um, but when you're just, I think, within 100 yards, maybe 150, 200, this stuff is just as accurate as you need it to be. I mean, for me at least. And I'm by no means a professional shooter that practices day and night and does all that good stuff. But, I mean, that it works, it works well and I, I stick with it. Because, back to my first point again, it's cheaper. All right. So another another p problem people will have is um, the bullets aren't loaded as hot, and they'll have gas problems. So that I can see is actually being an issue. Um, and there, it does, I, I understand. But if you're, but that's like a per case basis. Um, none of my rifles have any problem handling the wolf. Um, it cycles all my guns perfectly fine. Uh, I haven't had any problems with really any of it. Uh, and another problem people have is that the steel case stuff messes with their guns. Um, they'll get jams, they'll get feeding problems, which I guess is kind of the same thing. But um, I, I, I just can't say I've had the same problems. Um, it, I don't know if it's like their guns are super finicky. Um, and I don't have any super high-end rifles. I mean, all my AR-15s cost under a thousand bucks. So maybe the more higher-end rifles that just don't handle it well. But the stuff I use, the stuff I shoot, the stuff does. I mean, it it works well. I don't have any problems with it. It it's it's good stuff for what it's used for. Um, so that being said, that's really the reasons. I have no problem shooting this wolf, and I have no problem cheaping out on ammo, and I have no problem plinking with it. Um, would I use it for hunting or self-defense? Probably not, no. I mean, it's just not meant for that. This is me meant to go out and practice with every now and again. Um, I, I definitely recommend buying more expensive quality ammo for hunting or keep it in your self-defense or keep for different purposes, but I have no problem using Wolf, and I have no problem shooting it, or Tula, or the other steel case stuff. I know Hornady even makes steel case brass. I'm not really talking about that, or steel, huh, steel case brass, steel cased match grade ammunition. Um, I've never shot it. I don't have any expen experience with it, I, but I know this is what I have experience with, and this is what I use. So I think that really about wraps up the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, this is just my opinion on it. I know a lot of people disagree with it, but I just wanted to explain myself and why I use it. And oh well, if you don't, you guys don't agree, that's fine. Go pay more for ammo. <laughs> not, not really my problem. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Please go hit the subscribe button if you hit the like button. Um, I do all kinds of firearms content here on the channel and I, I really enjoy it. I shoot, I hunt, I fish, I do a lot of outdoor stuff too. So that being said, I'm going to wrap it there. Hope you guys enjoyed and as always, take someone outdoors. I will see y'all next time.